Hello guys and welcome back, hopefully, because you've been watching the other games, to a round of Swiss. Not only a round, but the final round of the Swiss tournament on day two of the Hoth Open Series. The most prestigious, I'll say, so far that we have seen X-Wing tournament in the entire world. Uh, so these are the players of the players here in Chicago. This is the tournament in the United States and it's at Adepticon 2016. My name is Steven. And I am Zach. And it's very fair to note there were two days of Swiss before this, two different heats. Had to go four and two to make it to this day. This is round three of day two of Swiss. Combined total records, top eight players advancing. These players are at table, I think, eight. It's bonkers. And so potentially... Somebody's winning, going in. Winning here makes the cut. Not guaranteed. Not it's guaranteed. going to come down to MOV, so you need to blow up a lot of ships. But this is a game that matters. Both these players potentially have a top eight appearance on the line. Absolutely. Now, we saw Don a little bit earlier in the rounds. We recorded one of his games using these contracted scouts. The Jump Master list has, uh, you know, all of that goodness going on. He's basically launching torpedoes, got a huge alpha strike. And look at the layout of his ships here. That tells me a story. But more importantly, over on the left, we got Lee, and he is running just some old school classics right here, man. He's got it, two K wings. He's throwing it back. He's got some Y wings. And so he's got K, some Z ninety five. It's a nice, nice little synergy here. He's got lots of stress happening in this list. Ton right? of stress. K wings have TLT. They also have a three sixty. Now hold on, before we get any further, Zach, for our friends out there who are watching and listening, who are like me and have probably played about the same amount of X Men games in their entire life that these players played during this tournament. Uh, twin laser turret, TLT is what you're referring to there. Twin laser turret. TLT. And that is a, uh, that's a laser, it's a cannon upgrade, and you can shoot essentially twice, but you can only ever do one damage with the attack. Yeah, so it's great for uh, stripping actions and kind of just like poking damage through on targets that oftentimes are hard to get through with a single attack. Absolutely. So range 2, 3, 3 dice, 360, it's a turret. So you shoot once, after that shot you get to shoot again. You can only ever do one damage per attack, but in a lot of cases against things like the Lambda Shuttle or the Falcon, very, very strong. Very effective, because generally those, those things can kind of deal with one attack, but once you start laying two attacks, four attacks, they don't have the ability, and especially in the old days of Chewbacca and, and Han and all these kinds of weird things, they uh -huh. could really avoid everything once, but yeah. no more. Yeah, well, even you know something like a Soontir where the Focus Focus Evade, this list in particular is going to get a lot of shots against him. So Absolutely. even if he has to spend one token here, one token here, and a lot of times it's like I'll spend a token and you're again only avoiding a damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's a tough choice. This is a cool little list. He's got, of course, the Stress Hog there, number three on the board, the Y Wing. TLT, he's got the BTL Y Wing title, okay. which means he can only shoot inside his primary fire arc. But when he does shoot, he can immediately afterwards make a turret attack, which is going to let him trigger the TLT, Twin Laser oh, Turret. Oh, goodness. He also has R3A2, which is what makes the magic possible. When he shoots a target, after he clears a target, he can take a stress to take it, give them a stress. And that's why you see the BTL there, because you do your normal attack, give them a stress, which they trigger the turret, which is a twin laser, do another stress. And on the second TLT, you don't declare the target, so you actually can't trigger R3, which is why you're willing to only shoot in your fire. So that gold squadron Y-Wing is going to be able to, if he has somebody in his primary art, uh, particularly at range 2 to 3 because of the TLT requirement, he's going to be able to give 2 stress and take 2 stress himself. Absolutely. And, and that alone is wildly significant. It can, it can really be against the aces being stressed out as a problem. These bigger ships with a little more health, it's not going to be as big of a deal. But even so, once you get them stressed out, they can't focus or target lock, which means they're not going to be using munitions, which means they're not going to take actions, can't barrel roll. It's pretty bad. But let's not forget, also, the phenomenal Z95 Headhunter. The phenomenal Pull, slotted in. Pulling it in here. The old bandit squad. Yeah, 12 just points a big old scoop of vanilla ice cream, my friends. Yeah, and I think, you know, this is a great call on Lee's part. The meta really adjusting to the stress hog after Paul's victory at Worlds 2015. And he actually, instead of saying, well, stress doesn't work anymore, said, let's add more stress. He's got a tactician on both uh, K-Wings, which means that... He has a 360 turret with a K-Wing, so any ship at range 2, he can add another stress just by attacking, and he's going to be looking to just deny actions all game long. I would have been horrible, like, this is enough stress that I would have been terrified with my list. Glad I didn't see this. That is killer. Uh, so he's got Tactician and Twin Laser Turrets all over the board, and then he's also got just, so it's just stress happening everywhere. Yeah. And on the flip, we've got these contracted scouts, led by Boba Fett, 
and they are essentially just... I love that, that story. They are just set up. I mean, there is literally... So a mechanic got in there and just, just totally overclocked, literally, all of these ships to fire some insane missiles. And that is essentially what they're going to be doing. Wild cats. Yeah, uh, and, and look at them go, man. Look at them go. Now, now you notice there's a, a slight difference. Now, most of these, the, the two here, have the R4 Agrimech. Uh, and that's a pretty standard upgrade for the Jumpmaster. But, and that's the one where you spin a focus, you get a target lock. The other one, number one here, has the overclocked R4, which is a little bit different. So, once it spins a focus, it can take a stress to get a focus. To which is actually another one to a ship. problem in this matchup. Because it, it won't be stressed, is it, what you're saying. It, it will be able to be easy. If you use it, you're going to be easily be able to be double stressed. And then, yeah, and then you can't take an action, and then it's... And you can uh, still, if you can spin the focus, you can still take a stress, because it's assigning the focus token, that, the overclock. Yeah. But it's getting a focus again after that round that is a problem. Yeah, well, you know, you can just hold it after you overclock, you know, you can. It's, and there's no way to do it. No and, way to do it. So number one is kind of just going to be careful. Yeah. I was saying maybe that, perhaps that's why he is... By himself he on is the bottom of the board. So there. arrived. And look at this K Wing. Slam. Loop. I love seeing these K Wings. I got to tell you, man, they look just gorgeous flying through here like a. Yeah, and he's. Just those bats. He's slamming around. So ultimately, he's not going to be able to shoot here because he slammed. Slammed it up. Slamming around. But he's ideally, because he's right there between those rocks, number two jump master, probably going to bump. Yeah, where's he going to go? He's going to bump unless he did some kind of <laughs> weird maneuver like I'll tear where he's going to go to Bumpsville. He could easily have one right turn anticipating that kind of maneuver from his opponent. But if, if that bump happens, it's going to shut him down from taking actions, which means he's going to be stressed out here in that. Yeah, and look at that Y-Wing. just ready for the party here. He's just like, give me a shot. Give me a shot. And it's Bumpsville. And you think he's in there? Maybe he, he, might, might fit. he may fit, dude. This is important. No, he's bumped. You'll bump it up. Yeah, he's bumped. Huh? Yep. Oh yep. my word. Did he get in there? He got in he there. Got he in got there. in there. That he clears it. Insanity. He clears it. Insanity. Man, and that right there. You know, this is the game of X-Wing, guys. I, I can't say this <laughs> enough. That that right there could be the difference in winning and losing 100%. for either of these lists. It's so real, because now he has the focus, which means he's going to be able to use his munitions. Like it, they could easily remove the Y wing from the board before it even shoots. That's how much damage these. I guys think can do. I think that's about to happen because look at these tiny little pilot skills over here on Lee's side of the board on the left there. All Which twos. Is so cute. Right across the board, so these scouts are gonna rip into them before they get a chance to do anything. Now watch, watch what happens. Watch this. It's gonna be nuts. I think he's gonna barrel roll. Oh, I think I thought we were on shoots. No, he's thinking about what to do with number one here. Looks like we're in shoots, man. No, he's taking a focus. Which he's, he's... We're taking a focus, he spins it, he gets a stress, gets it back. All right, number three is going at the K-Wing. K-Wing, okay. All right, the K-Wing. That's fair. He's going to spin the focus to do the missile. He's going to get a target lock. All right, and that is the uh, R4 that allows him to do that. Yeah, and now that target lock is going to be totally usable right here on this attack along with the guidance chips. So target locking the two blanks. Gonna guidance chip that last blank, and there it is. That's, there it is. That's how it works. It's called four damage right there. All right, gonna spend a focus to do one evade with that K wing, taking three right, so on the shields. Three shields are gone. Hey, K wing's okay. It's not the first time he's been to the party. They're pretty healthy. They have nine. Uh, you're not. You're probably not gonna remove it from the board on this first pass, but he did make him spend the focus, which is important. And that was a that was a big first strike. That K wing now is gonna start limping along on further turns. Especially once those shields come down and the crits start to happen. I've seen that happen a million times. Same thing from number two here. Going to spin the focus, get the target lock. R4 Agramek doing work. Now, where's he going? Is he going to the K-Wing as well? I think he's going to the well? same K-Wing. You focus that fire. All right. He's focusing it up. All right. Going to target lock here, probably. Or just spin the focus or spin the token. Guidance chips. All hits. And there we go. Yeah. Didn't even need it. One of a. So he's going to take, looks like a hit, hit, crit. Yeah. So one shield. He was out of shields. Hit, hit, crit. He was out of shields already. Beautiful. Because it was uh, the first one was a plasma torpedo. So oh, right. That's shields. what I missed. Yeah. yeah, it was the plasma. Man, you know, those plasma torpedoes are just beautifully positioned for these K-Wings. Yeah. Plasma torpedo is a great choice, especially with so many Palpatines floating around this metal. So we have uh, one K-Wing that is just, well, he may be off the board here. No, looks like he didn't get a shot. But certainly struggling. 
All right, this jump master gonna go. Ooh, he has a focus. He could use a a, a missile. Missiles. And that's number one. So he has plasma. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, man. yeah. Here he goes over to the other K wing. Let's see if he uses that focus. I don't know if he's gonna use the missile yet, but I like using it because you don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, dude. He just flipped it. He's there using it. Is. And he's going to take the stress to keep it. So we just saw the overclocked aggro mech there doing some work. Or overclocked R4. All right. Spend the focus. Four Wow. Hits. That is why you do it. And blankies. There go all the shields. All the shields. Plasma torpedo is not having an impact there. Nope. But, you know, it's fine. I mean, they certainly had an impact you know, with their secondary ability. Yeah, and I think the thing about this match as opposed to what we saw earlier, right? We saw Don play against some aces. Literally. Yep. And so in this case... Actually, the late game, if you get down to one-on-one -on -one or two-on-two, -two, is heavily in favor of the Jump Masters. They have the two agility versus the one across the board on everything but the yeah. over here. There we have a little shot. Crit. And it's evaded. Yeah. Here come the stress, though. And this Man, is going to be an actionless board. I can tell you, I feel like for the first time uh, in, in this, these Swiss rounds, certainly with this Jump Master list, we saw Don earlier. This is the first time we've really seen that alpha strike, and it is impressive when you watch it happen. I mean, all that damage, that was a ton of damage that just came through. What is that total, uh, 11? Get your math caps on. It's 11, yeah. It's 11 with a crit, that could have been double, that could have been a K-Ming off the board. We got more shots fired here. There goes two on the uh, reroll. And we're losing some shields on the jump master there. And probably more important than anything, we are stressing out. All right, so here it comes. So we're going to get to see the best of both of these lists. Here we go. Range three. And to clear the attack, do we get the stress? Or the stress happening? It's, at, it's right after the attack. I think he's going to do it. Forgot to no, give him the stress. Forgot All right, so on the TLT, now he's going to give him the stress. Oh, that uh, that's critical. I mean, yeah. like, that's... Yeah, I think you do it when you declare. Yeah, it's always when you declare, for sure. Nothing. And just, just cold red dice. Yeah, that's not, not what you needed. Man. That stress is that was a relevant. that was a that was an excellent first turn for Don. I think I think he's got to feel very good about his position here. Kind of a heartbreaker there, actually, for Lee. You know, and I just didn't see it. Yeah. It's still, it, this is dramatic, like it's still going to be real good here. And again, once the missiles are gone, this jump master list, the offensive power just goes way down. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of potential bumps here. This feels like kind of, to me, this feels like a heavyweight fight, right? It's just two slugs. It's just, they are just going to slug this one out. It's going to be a lot of dice rolled here. Yeah, and I think, oops, bumps. I think Lee is ultimately, if he can get these jump masters to bump, and he gave a stress to number two, right? So... A bump means no actions, he might clear the stress, but then he's going to stress him out. He's not bumping, because he gets right. to be first here. So he's going to get his actions, he's going to get his shots, and this is the turn for Lee to really put himself in an advantageous position. All right, well, let's see if it if it turns for him. K-Wing's coming in here, and remember, this K-Wing is limping. And imagine, too, like, think about if number two had actually bumped. Oh, and that's, what that that's what I'm saying. Like he doesn't Man, that, get to shoot that missile. That's four extra damage. We're dealing just, with a, a different game at that point, for certain. I love those moments where you know they can possibly try to block you, and if they do, that your maneuver might make it. Yeah. And there we have a flip, flip down of the crit yeah. rather than the focus. All right, let's see what uh, This is going to be the old 20, 20 ship pile up here we're about to witness. All right, numero uno, just going one forward. I like that move a lot. Going to try to take to, out number one K-Wing. I need to think of all the foods that can be stacked, because I feel like we're going to have to make a lot of those analogies throughout this series. Well, pancakes are a good example, sort of French toast. Blue enchiladas. Blue enchiladas. That one's out of nowhere. Those. Are they good? Well, they're always stacked, as far as I can tell. Well, a little ship tappy. Stacked blue enchiladas. All right, so he did a one turn, anticipating the potential bumps, and did not bump, which is good for him. Still going to have a little uh, range one with a K-Wing. Staying out of the tactician zone, though. No tactician. It's a good card. Uh, you're good. Next up, I think we might have a two right slooper. Oh, dude, bank. they're getting out of town. Yeah, not allowing a bump, which is correct. 
Getting out of town. Forcing your opponent to Yeah, more, I mean, out of the primary arc of that Y-Wing. Can he even get over to number one there? A uh, Y-Wing will be able to shoot number one. And that'll be a very stressful. You know, I've been, we've been wrong about this before. These boards sometimes warp, I swear, the angle. Well, each large ship base is roughly one Oh, here inch. it comes. Here's, here's, the, here's the master knowledge. Let's talk about so it. So each, each so the jump master there is, uh, that's is a one is a range. range. Okay. So if you look at the Y-Wing, it's about two, it's, it'll be range three against that number one. Oh, yeah? You want to put a roast beefer on it? You, you want to do two roast beefers? No, I don't. Day? I don't. You Nobody does. Heaven forbid. All right, Jump Master's first, though. It's been in the lock. How about a hit? A single hit and a blank. Well, that'll we be it, won't it? on the K wing. Is he gone? I think that, is that, that's not nah, the injured one, is it? It is. It is. He yeah, it is. He's got one left. That's right. I thought they were four and four. I didn't even look at the old sideboard there. But I'm curious, which, which jump master shoot? I guess it was number two shooting at range two. Yeah, that seems to make sense. It's because th three's not bumped. And he wouldn't roll three dice. Yeah, would have been yeah, range one. I'm smelling. All right, so we're going to try to take the K-Ming off the board with here. number one. This is interesting. I almost would have done the range one with the focus first to try to just get him off the board. Yeah, I think he was going for the, uh, going for the long shot there. Nothing. All right, and now, now see, now nothing it. happens. See, you could have led with uh, with three dice, right? Yeah. And he spins yeah, it, so and there it is. Three. See, that, that would have been it. Yeah. That would have been it. So that's just a. I think that's just a mistake. I think that's just a mistake. Yeah, because then, then you have your other shots against like the Y wing, who only rolls one agility, or the other K wing even. Yeah. Who's just on one agility, yeah, yeah. like. Yeah. Now there could have been like to, to be fair, there could if that first shot hadn't hail married it and done well, then you could have got. I, I just like the odds. You get better odds. You get better odds. One with a focus to get rid of the ship, and then you get your other two yeah. shots on something else. Here we go. Wow. Would have been a look. Range three. Roast Wild Wildcats. Yeah, you would be. Yeah, I didn't take the bet. Roast beef I didn't take the bet. If you guys don't get that uh, that commentary, that Zach and I are having, you didn't watch game. the previous games. Uh, so that's on you. Uh, we got a hit and an evade. No thing. And then more stress coming on the pipe. That's, that's all that matters. You don't even care if you're doing damage at this point. You're just, no more actions for you. That means no, no missiles happen in here. No missiles. But all the, aren't all the missiles gone at this no, point? No way, man. Oh, one hasn't shot the missiles yet, has At he? all. Are you sure? I thought he shot them at the very missions. There were two fired on the first turn, but that's it. Two out of four. Can you guys believe this? Well, there's evades everywhere, and the tactician looks That's like the third stress. Yeah, stress for dash. Spin a focus, three hits. All right, he's gonna oh, take damage. Good dice here. But it's TLT, so it's only one. Only one damage. Now this is just a really interesting fight. Once those jump masters are totally stressed out, which means they can't do revenues, but they still have an incredible loss. It doesn't matter. But then they can't take actions, which just shuts down the missiles. Only to the left, Zach. Okay. Only to the left. <laughs> All right, range two with the K-wing. That's yeah, tactician range two though. for sure. Stress, stress ain't easy. That's gonna be stress number two on that ship. I don't know what they are. Oh, they're measuring to see if that rocks in the way. Tiny little baby rock. Tiny little baby rock. TLT with the K-wing. He forgot to announce the stress to. Uh, stress is after the attack. Yeah, the tactician's different. Blank skis. Take one. TLT is just ankle biting at its best. All right, so a little bit of an exchange there. I don't think you gave him a stress from Tactician, which is going to... Well, I do see one stress on the ship, but I... I, I thought it was already there. Um, I also don't know, Zach. Now that, now that Lee has put it in her head that he might forget to stress... Now we're just questioning everything. Boy, it's the kind of game that you watch afterwards when you're in this kind of a tournament, and you're like, I can't believe that that happened. Just for where or I am you, terrified to watch my own games. Or you realize it, and then you... And then you get better. You get better. All right. He is going to try to hunt down this this jump master who's stressed out, hopefully going to bump that, bump or not bump, the headhunter. But either way, that's okay for you. He's going all in on it. Absolutely. TLT. All right, he's going to have a lot of guns on that jump master. And I'm feeling pretty good, good about Lee's, Lee's chances here. He's got, I like that stress shutting down the missiles ultimately. All right, All right, he's going to green. Yeah, he's getting out, of, getting out of dodge there. I do feel like I have the sneaking suspicion that we're, we have not gotten as much stress as we, we should have. We were promised in the beginning. Yeah, of this game, I was you know. promised a lot of stress here. 
And I don't think it's the list's fault. I think it just was, I think it's not being called. All right, two right But turns. that's just really, a, it's kind of a gut feeling. It's more of an emotion. Right yeah. yeah. Not an analytical decision. It's, it is definitely not that. All right, focus. And, you know, this could be real good. If he can get this jump master off the board, it looks like a one forward, that Z yeah, is going to have some be okay. primary shots. This is the moment for the headhunter right here. It's a bomb. Yeah, that's, that's, that's well. perfect. He doesn't get actions. Uh, he he's may be stressed, stressed anyway. He's got, two, he's got two stress on him. You probably were okay with a not bump there. Yeah, I think I'd take the shots. That's I'd right. He's going to have four shots, five shots coming at him. Okay. Y-wing plus TLT yeah, twice plus K-wing CLT, and that's going to be stress for the rest of the game. That's two, three. should be at least three stress on top of the two he's already got. For those counting at home, that's five stress. That's a lot of stress, yeah. I was counting. Oh, I'm not at home. All right, All right, number two, Jump Master taking a shot on the Y wing, looks like. Finally. And two. Double hits. Big O hits. Blanks. And just bouncing into nothing. Yeah. You see, that can always happen, Zach. It doesn't matter. The best laid plans. You don't take damage for missing on attacking, but you do take damage when those blanks are on the green. Man, you are really becoming the John Madden of this thing. I love it. You get the ball in the end zone, you, see, you destroy your opponent's ships, you score the touchdowns. Oh, man. All right, two hits. Good dice coming over here. Blank. Blanks. Now, I've been saying that a lot when lee has been rolling here. Blanks, yeah, that's bad news. Imagine if he'd had two more shots on that white wing earlier. Oh, I Just don't saying. think about it. All right, here come, here come the red capes. More just fire. Just fire. One evade. All right, that's worth something. All right. How time? about some return fire? Let's, yeah, let's see. Let's do it. that. Let's see it. I'm kind of gunning for Lee's uh, ragtag what bunch is here. happening? All right, here we go. All right, K Wing. TLT. Taking a shot. Don't forget the stress, yo. All right, there's two damage. Uh, no, one of eight. So he's going to take right, one from the TLT. One. Round two. Another one. There we go. Two more. Taking another damage. Takes another this damage. Is what you need. Boom, rolling it off. Give him a stress, give like him a stress. Like a waterfall. Now, did we have a tactician stress? No, tactician's primary uh, firing arc. Is it? Yep. Let me just read this. See, because I'm an expert at this game, which you guys need to understand. That's right, inside your firing arc, so that's why he hasn't been triggering it. Well, hey, Zach, I'm just here to provide high level commentary. That's right. While you color it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, like, range one matches up to the base of that strength. <laughs> I yeah. do not disagree it's with beautiful. that. Right. Pro tip. Uh, I know what they're doing. Wow, they seem to be building some sort of contraption. This here. is math. What corner is the closest corner? Oh, no. We, uh, we got Pythagoras in here. Uh, it's what crazy. is this? Where's the hypotenuse? See, this is, when it gets technical, I'm out. I'm more of a... You like to fly by the seat of your heart. That's correct. How All about right. two hits? That's what you want. How oh, about I'm one like, that's what you want. That's a primary, too. Oh, Wait, we got another one. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Taking do it. it. Taking, taking the, the All shield. All right, so now we're, we're shieldless, and you have two more TLT Shieldless and We got two that are shieldless here now, and there's more fire coming in. Fire in the booth. Looks like he evaded those. Fire. Hitting the crit. Fire in the hall. Oh, man, just Dodge City. Oh, no. It's all right. All right, so now we're back in. All right, we're so back in. It's cool. Came, it's cool. Which will just fit. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. Can we do some math on this? It we is. get the abacus out? So you have a two and a two. <laughs> and then you the turn it. Up, it gets weird. These guys, obviously, if they pulled off that weird angle thing, they're thinking about this. Yeah. This is graph paper right it now. It literally just fits. Just by the chin of your And chin. there's not even, you don't even have to question it. You don't have to measure it. The numbers say that know. it fits. See? <laughs> Uh, he just doesn't know about it. I just don't know. <laughs> why wing getting aggressive up in here? Yeah, uh, hey, he may as well. You know what? I'm tired of these weenie Y wings flying around on the outside. I'm ready for this. I think the Y wing ultimately is asking for a bump. The Y wing is in, has a lot of damage on it. The other jump masters are facing the other direction. So if he does get a bump, he won't be able to shoot the Y wing, and he won't have. He'll just be stuck right there at range one of both both these ships. He's not going that way. Yeah, but this is okay too, right? 
Uh, no, not really. No, not really. Because okay. essentially, bumping here, the K-Wing's not going to get you the Jump Master. The Jump Master can shoot the Y-Wing, who is yep. the one that's damaged. Yep, yep. And he's essentially only going to get a sh the shots. If he's outside the primary, this Y-Wing is what matters. He's he, in there. He's totally in the primary. If he's outside the primary, it's only the Headhunter that's going to get a shoot. No, uh, no, 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 no. We don't want that. It's close, though. This train track rule may be uh, keeping the fishtail in line. Lay down the tracks. It's going to be close. Nah. I, think, I think Wyman's got a shot, though. I think he's got it, yeah. Now, TLZ can't shoot at range one, side note. Well, that's also a problem. Well, there's a lot of problems in all of this. I'm going to tell you what, I don't think that Wyman's going to have to worry about getting a shot, because it's going to be gone. It's close. I think it has three or four health left, though. Is he going to barrel roll here? I would. <laughs> hey, I called it. Yeah, he's getting closer. And a barrel roll with these big shifts is crazy. It used to be, it's back when the rules changed, it was barrel roll like normal. Yeah, yeah and that basically you can just put your board, your uh, ship on the other board the and you board. just roll yeah. it down it's to like, table I'm six. I'm going to use the three range ruler to do barrel roll. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week. That's still so much. You, you think he's got a shot on the Y wing there? That's going to be close. I think it's going to be two millimeters out of range. Wow, bold call. And, and I, yeah, that's a definitely out of range. I'm kind of looking at, I'm, I'm using your, your one length trick here with these large bases. I don't think that you can get, oh, are you kidding me? And from down, no, down. no, 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 no. Does he have that? He has, he has range, but it's not in primary. So he's not going to be able to use a missile or anything, which is good for, for Lee. Spin the lock. Spin the focus. One damage. Why wing? He evades it. He's range cool, three. man. He's sweating. And check here. He's got see, it. it blows me away. There's no way. There's no way that that's the case. Yeah, he's got it. I'm so amazed. For whatever reason, the word advocacy is coming to my brain. Yeah, well, I said it earlier. There it is. And the, the Y-Wing stays alive, man. He's, yeah. he's living. Yeah. He's got the range one over here with numero uno on the Y-Wing if he wants it. Now, would you? Yeah, I guess. I guess you, you definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is a case where I think going after the Y-Wing with that guy last makes sense. You have to shoot the Y-Wing yeah, yeah, with the other definitely. guys. And then you have the choice to shoot the head on there. Things went really well for you down south. Yeah, I mean, they didn't have to go. Well, I guess they had to go pretty well. Yeah. Well, I mean, still got a little bit of uh, hull there. You could have, like, double damage, double damage, like, a crit getting through a crit. Even a crit that prevents it from shooting. Or... Wait, is he going after the headhunter? I don't know. He pointed at it. He's a wildcat. He could also just be talking. I mean, you're also, you have these moments where it's like you have to win the game to get in, right? Yeah. That's bad. One damage. No baits. Shield off the bandit. All right, okay. He was you, attacking the headhunter. You get in positions where it's kind of... You just go for the Hail Marys. Yeah. And that, that's fine. Like, that, you get there, and sometimes that's scary as the other player. You know, you watch football at all? I've, I've been there a few times, yeah. They start, well, we probably watch football together. They start playing the just prevent the long plays. Yeah. And, the old prevent defense. Yeah, what we and call that's them. how you lose, man. That you is just play you your game. Although in football, a lot of times it's not how you lose, it's how you, how you don't lose. Well. All right, he's got, the, he's got the Y wing and he's got range one. That means he can't TLT, he only gets the primary. Yeah, that's fine though, he's still on three dice, he just take this ship out. Hitting a crit. Oh, two Double evades. Double evades, get out of here. Yeah, ah. Jumpmaster just says no dice. Uh, shake it out. You can just ah. see those shots being fired and bouncing right off the shields that don't exist. I can see it. All right, marking the ship, we got some movement coming Wow. Here. Look at that. Look at look at them templates. Are those official FFG templates? They are not. They look highly illegal, actually. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Official logos and whatnot being used. That's illegal, but, you know, people do it. People do it. Much to our disliking. Ours aren't, aren't hey, illegal, Hey, speaking though. of, guys, let's talk about this while these ships are moving around. You want some sweet templates? If you want some sweet, beautiful acrylic templates, Pink I, filled. Recommend, I recommend the Awaken templates. Paint filled. We got them. A pink black with a red paint. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Yeah, it'll make you do the chicken dance. Make you do the chicken dance. Then you got the uh, grays with the blue paint fill. Also looks phenomenal. Uh, people are loving those. So check those out. Yep. You thought you could get through a, an X-Wing game without a commercial break? Well, well, here it is. It's not possible. A very legal commercial break. Now, if you're, if you're the scum villain faction, there are legal options for you. Yeah. Which is hilarious. That is strangely true.
Look at Mop City. Oh, man. You this got a pancake, is, Jim? It's like a magnet. Blue enchiladas. Uh, oh, solo cups. Uh, oh, yeah. This is like a... That'd be funny if Falcon's on the board. Oh, oh my so gosh. Well. Yeah, wow. you got to use the that jokes. later. The jokes. Oh, man. It's a stack of solo cups right here. <laughs> you can see it. That's going to be hilarious. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I could stack a lot of things, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. There's a lot, a lot to be stacked. You gotta stack, yeah. stack we have to restrict it to food, I think. Yeah. I don't think cups qualify. Well, I just can't stop thinking about it. Meanwhile, back in the game, uh, we have a rebel pileup. And I think that drop master bumping the K-wing is correct. You're staying at range one of the Y-wings, so only gets one shot. Headhunter's still stressed, gonna have a range one, but... The other jump masters are coming to party. Yeah, the jump masters are doing well here. This looks really good. It looks really, really good. Because uh, let's not forget, like they're they're ready to go. I mean, one of them has the shields down, but otherwise, we got a full health jump master just waiting. Just waiting. And we believe that we have some missiles ready to fire, I think, right? I think Numero Dos has missiles. Oh, oh range too. Yeah. Woo. Boy, loom, the looming threat. You can just see them on the horizon, right? Like blocking the light from a far away right, so sun. He, he does have the Y-Wing in arc, the number two. So he does have the missiles. He target locked there. Checking the, and target lock is a nice way to measure range before you get to attack, Will. Yeah, you've got all these tricks. All you guys have all these tricks. Well. I'm just playing the game. I'm, I'm sure everybody out there knows exactly what I'm talking about. You have tricks, man. I don't know why these guys didn't just take a draw. Well, Get the, it? <laughs> that's not a funny joke. Okay. Yeah, it is. It's, it's light, I mean, they, lighting the community on fire. The, that's the thing, and that's part of the conversation. If people have these guys take intentional draws, these guys may not even have a chance to make the cut. No, there's no way they make the cut. No one table seven, table six. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of ways to fix that. Yes, I'm going to leave it there. And there yeah. goes the missiles. We're firing. That Y wing is done. I knew we had missiles. Get Sign out of here. it. Why? Sign your name on the document. Yeah. Write your will. Like I send said, it out the parachute. Unlike in the Aces match, the late game I think is favored here by the Jump Masters. Well, you don't say. Oh, he just had one of the uh, bump to die. Bump to die to a die. Three hits, not four, mind you. Oh, blank. Oh, uh, just out of Y wing here. doesn't even want it. That man. Y wing. Although I think. Yeah, the Y wing is gone. Is it a headhunter? What is going on here? That was head a headhunter, head man. That was a headhunter. Oh, man. And then the other one's going to have a shot at the Y-Wing, I think. Range three. Range one with number one. Wow, this is getting cleaned up real quick. Oh, ugly. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh, get out there. Shake it off. Ooh. Go on, get off. That's gross. He's flipping over the token. He's All using right, the so missiles. Now we've got the missiles on the Y wing. This, this is this could just be the game. Just a clean sweep. Yeah, this is it's the, a clean this strike. Is, Roll it down the lane. The JMK. This thing is over. Making it happen. Calling it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna predict four hits. Yeah, what a safe prediction. Spend it. I just three. Oh, uh, just dead eye because he didn't have the target lock. He didn't. He didn't do the focus target lock trick like he usually can. Right. Roll blanks. I think that is it. One health. One uh, he's just staying alive. He's on fire. I he's guess straight out. Just systems failing. Lights flashing everywhere. Beautiful to imagine. I and then a burst of flame. In space. Okay, so now, but now we're stressing out number one. Yep. Wouldn't you love to see just like a deadly shot here? Three he hits, no evades. He, he can definitely do it. Let's see some crits. One hit. Wait. Oh, all focus, no, no hits. Oh my goodness. It's not what the doctor ordered. All right, so, Zach, I'm, okay, so here's. Which question? Here's the thing. Um, now, I'm inclined as a casual observer of X-Wing, uh, and a, a casual player, a serious observer, <laughs> to. That is fantastic. To say at this point that, that it's about a 99 to one odds Matchup going on right here. We need the ace of spades on the river. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> you know what I mean? I absolutely know exactly. What I mean, he's mean. he's doing it right. He went the other direction with the K wing, gonna try to stay at range. But that Y wing is just buying time. Once the Y wing's gone, you have a K wing versus three jump masters. I think even even jump masters, if you're done, if you have three jump masters against, you could give Lee a ship back. 
give me a full K wing back, and I still put the favor in Don's favor. Here. Uh oh. Well, that's not going to happen. So, so you, I, need, you I, need like I, a trip a spades hit in the river. Favor is, man. We'll Th see this is Rex the end. Wire Zach, Zach, this is the end. Sign it, seal it, deliver it. You know what I mean? Like this is. I've heard that song. This is just done. Look at those beautiful ships. Called the U boats by some. Also called the toilet seats by some. Also, that's a weird looking toilet seat. Yeah, People are weird. trying to do away with it, right? I think we're kind of trying as a community not to. I mean, I I don't really get it. I kind of do. It's pretty scummy, but. Well, I mean, yeah, you could I'm, sit on it. I'm used to. Relatively clean to it. Right, right, yeah. It's not a perfectly accurate representation. All right, that Y-wing is gone. Now that we're talking toilets. Off the board. Now let's talk about the fate of this K-wing. It's not looking beautiful. How about two hits? Because why not? Yeah, two hits from downtown. Spins the focus, gets a target lock. One of aid, taking one. And this is a K-wing that is... I mean, Zach, come on. We, uh, I mean, if I'm, in the words if I'm in the K-Wing, I'm, I'm going four straight in this next turn. You're just going to try to freak some people out? Just go off the board. Oh, yeah? I'm going home, man. <laughs> yeah. E.T. phone home. Oh, all the hits. One of aid. You ever just think that you're, you're watching the slow nightmare unfold? If your name is Lee, that's what's happening. If your name is Lee, it's the last round of Swiss. You had a shot at getting it to the, to the top eight of an intense tournament with an incredibly interesting list. And you just are coming up a little bit short. It didn't go as, as, it, as it may have. Thank you, Zach. Yes, that's the way that I would put it as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bummer. It's a bummer feeling when that rushes over you. It is a bummer feeling, but you, you, got, to the, you, got, you got so close. Yeah. Even making it to the second day, the second tournament uh, here at Adepticon is wildly impressive. 100%. These are obviously two really good players. And I think there is that, there's the excitement and the intensity, and then there's a moment where you recognize it's over. And so, so right now, Don is essentially trying to... Now, does he benefit by not losing ships? Yeah, 100% benefit. Okay, so he's trying to get out of here. He does not, and so the way the, the updated rules on the big ships Huge work, tiebreaker for him. There's five health and four shields. If you destroy half of an opponent's health on a big ship, yeah. you get half the points, and so you lose those for MOV. So he has, he has the ship there without shields. He's actually taking some damage. Oh, okay, on that so that's half. Yeah. That, that, those points are gone. But now there is one caving without shields, so he needs to not take any damage on, I'm sorry, one jump master without shields. He needs to not take any damage on that. That is correct. I mean, he may have, yeah, it looks like he's got no shields or at the best one shield. He's got no shields. Right, Refer so, to the side screen. He, he wants to get rid of the ship before losing the ship. Yeah, see, that's what he's doing right there, I yep. feel like, right? Getting out of range. Which is correct. He needs all the MOV he, he can get here. Yeah, range two, slapping at the K-Wing. Hits, become hits. Spend the focus. Taking a hit. Taking a hit. Down to three. He's not handing anything to his opponent here. I like that. Out of range. TLT, here we go. And again, when you play to, when you play not to lose, you have these weird games. He like he literally could have had another shot there. Yeah. With number two, but he's saving it to not take the damage. He chose not to. And there's three hits. Taking Got a shield. couple of evades. Just one shield down. And again, like this could this could be bad. I don't think I, I don't think Lee's gonna win, but you could easily just lose points. Yeah, you know I. I'm fairly certain at this point that this jump master is going to be able to get it done before he loses his shields. And certainly before he takes damage past that. Watch this. Just watch it happen. They're just icing now. I mean, they got 360 arcs. They're just playing around out there in the, in the nether. And range one is important here. Oh, yeah, it's very important. Particularly for the jump master. He has that first shot. Yeah. Since when would you imagine that three pilot skill is just the, the most elite... Group out here, but the, but the reality is this is probably most of the battles in Star Wars are just the it's most you know, of the, the average time. guys, the average pilots. Yeah, and there's always it's always a a fun play between the two, three, and four pilot skills. Like right here, even right, you have all twos over on Lee's side versus all threes on the Don's. 
And a lot of a lot of the lower lists, the tie swarms are on like black squadron pilots are all at four. Yeah. Because they want to be above the threes, right? Or above right. the twos. And it, once you get to the five to eight range, you don't typically see those pilots because if you're up that high, you go to aces. Range one, slapping it down, three hits. There it is, a blank will do it. And that'll do it. There, there we it go, is. guys. Congrats, Don. Good luck. Have you made the cut? Yeah, Don moving on, hopefully making the cut. And uh, just kind of, you know, we saw some moments where I think that could have turned either direction, and it just didn't go in these favors. So thanks for watching, guys. We have so much X-Wing on the channel. Check that out. We've got a lot of games from this Hoth Open series, uh, including the top cut. So the check those out. Cut. Yeah, we, we really went for it on this. For all of you guys out there, and uh, we thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we have tons of X-Wing uh, goods for sale on our web store. We really try to make that as nice as possible for you guys. We got templates, we got tokens, we even got acrylic asteroids and debris that uh, really change the way things look whenever you get them down and the way that the game plays out. Really incredible pieces. Spend a lot of time on those. Check those out. That absolutely supports this kind of content. And uh, we'll see you on some more games. How about see, that? See you next time. Come visit.